Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I will be talking about iOS 6.1. I know 6.0.1 was just recently released, but Apple is almost halfway done with making iOS 6.1 which in this video I'll be talking about the changes, what's new, the features, I'll basically review the firmware, the performance and battery life, and of course when it is going to be released, plus what it means for jailbreakers. Now the good thing is that support for iOS 6.1 will remain on all iDevices that currently support iOS 6, including the iPad 4, 3, 2, iPad mini, the iPhone 5, the 4S, the 4, the 3GS, iPod Touch 4 Gen, 5th Gen, and the first, oh, Whoops. <laughs> anyway, so all devices currently capable of running iOS 6 will be able to run 6.1. First off, I do want to say in this new firmware, there is a very small amount of new features, just one or two notable ones to the others are just aesthetic fixes, little tiny things in the firmware to make it a more pleasing experience. And first off, probably most notable would be Siri. You can now book movie tickets in Siri, which is an interesting little feature. I'm on an iPhone 4, so I can't really show you guys how to do that. I just have voice control, but it is there. If you open up Passbook, you get this little new icon greeting you, which is pretty neat. On the lock screen, if you guys just double tap, you have this new interface. It matches the rest of iOS 6. The old one was pretty dated, and if you want, I can show you guys right here. If you double tap, as you can see, it does look a lot older. Anyways, so that's just a little thing on the lock screen. If we actually go into the firmware, in settings, general, cellular you now get a tab for itunes just little things like these in about if you scroll down go to advertising in here you now can reset advertising identifier and last of all in maps for all of you guys complaining me included about apple maps if you slide over you now have report a problem so if you guys find that an address is not in a place where it should be if apple maps is just leading you around and i've really been disappointed with apple maps at first but Eventually it did get a little better, I'm not sure if that's just me learning how to use it or if Apple actually fixed something, but you guys can now report a problem, which Apple will promptly fix. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the new changes in iOS 6. As you can see, that's insignificant. Almost nothing important has been changed except the addition of the movie tickets in Siri, but 6.1 remains mostly unchanged, very similar to 6.0.1. As for the actual performance, I have not noticed a difference. Battery-wise though, it has been draining a little bit more, and that is probably because it is a beta right now. But if you guys are interested in installing 6.1, I will be posting a video very soon, as well as a jailbreak for it. Anyway, stay tuned for that guys. And what this means for jailbreakers is unknown at the moment. Because the dev team has not addressed 6.1 just yet, there's really nothing I can tell you guys. But if you guys do want to try it out, it is possible to downgrade it very easily right now before the official version is out. So don't be afraid about that. But for the actual 6.1 release, I will hopefully have more information for the jailbreakers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for any further news. Have a great day, guys. Peace.